pops kicks here. But here's the catch. So I ended up finding three pairs of shoes at Plato's Closet. I am having a heck of a time just finding any shoes in this town. Uh, find anything locally and found these. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Like I said, we're really the only ones we drive out, you know. The perimeter was secured. Who, you spent more than $438? I wasn't running, I was speed walking. Why did you use so much tape? You spent $852 on tape. What the heck? What is up guys? Cam's Kicks here bringing you guys another video. So this video I'm a little bit worried about. It's gonna be a very interesting video. So Pops Kicks is gonna be stepping in for this video. Pops Kicks here. He's gonna have $1,000 to build me a mystery box. $1,000 building a mystery box. It's gonna be very mysterious. And he has to spend at least $300. He's gonna spend his own money and then I'm gonna pay him back. But here's the catch. So he has to stay in Cookville, Tennessee, which is where the house is located at. He's not able to travel to Nashville, not able to travel to Knoxville. Have Limited places to go. No idea what we're gonna find for Cam. Could be a disaster. Could find some diamonds in the rough. The diamond in the rough. None of those big cities like that. So here in Cookville, there's no sneaker stores around here. There are a few thrift stores and there is a Hibbit Sports. However, there's just no resale shop. So it's gonna be very interesting. Definitely some slim pickings for what shoes he's gonna be able to find. So a little bit worried what he's gonna buy, but I don't know, kind of excited. It's definitely an interesting challenge. He gave me a challenge. And I think he's definitely able to take it on. So stay tuned guys. We'll see how this goes. Right, man. Found something here. I don't know. These just released. I don't know if these things are any good, but only Jordans they really had in there. They don't get Jordans in this town, so size 11. Probably a brick, but Jordan 6 rings. Shoes, bro. I ended up finding three pairs of shoes at Plato's Closet. So these right here are the FA Experiment 2s. These ones at Plato's were $55. They're essentially DS. No box, of course. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. And then we got these at Plato's, 65 bucks, nine and a half. These are the Kyrie Obsidians. And then lastly, <laughs> I actually got these discounted. I had $5 off, so these were actually $25. And I looked online and it looks like, I don't know if there's any used market, but I saw some brand new ones for over $300 on eBay. The 30 bucks size 13. These are Merry Christmas. They're like racer speed sixes, premiums. So who knows? All right, guys. I am having a heck of a time just finding any shoes in this town. Uh, Cookville, there's nothing in this town. I've gone to about 15 different stores. I've gone to TJ Maxx. I've gone to Marshalls, Plato's Closet, Hibbit Sports. Gotten a few pairs, but no heat. Had a great idea. I know Cam started going to Facebook Marketplace. So I found this ad on Facebook Marketplace and I just DM the guy and said, are these available? They're not a fantastic price, but I was able to get in touch with the guy and uh, what we came up with is he's willing to do these Hyper Royals. They're 375. He's gonna do them for 350 and he's gonna bring me some additional shoes. So I'm hoping I can find some heat just cause man, I'm just like striking out here <laughs> with trying to find some local shoes. So I'm staying within the rules. I'm gonna be still here in Cookville, but I am meeting up with a local sneakerhead, and hopefully he's got some good shoes to sell cause otherwise this box is gonna be a disaster. But hey, you gotta try, you gotta do everything you can, and I'm scouring the entire town here. I gotta stay within the town, gotta stay under a thousand dollars, and I've gotta find some good value. So I'm hoping this guy can hook me up. Milo, you know where any shoes are? Do you know where any shoes are, buddy? Fortunately, Milo doesn't know where we can get any shoes either, so hopefully this Facebook marketplace thing works out. Otherwise, our shoes are gonna be dogs, just like this guy. 
All right, guys, he uh, finally texted me. I'm gonna go meet him up at a Walmart parking lot. So hopefully this guy's not too shady. Never know what you're getting into with these sneaker deals. So that is where I am off to. I mean, just size 12 stuff. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff back in my apartment. Do you? Probably got like 50, 60 pairs back in the place. But I just brought size 12 stuff just because that's what the hot Anything that's like a pretty good deal, like because I'm trying to get him for his mystery box. It's hard to find shoes. <laughs> no, I, yeah, no, <laughs> I we're, went to Plato's we're, Closet, I went to yeah, we're Pivots all, here, a bunch of thrift stores, and there was like nothing. So, I'll be honest, we're really the only ones who do it out here. Oh, I'm gonna really? swing by over here and grab these, yeah. And it's just so tough because, like, like this Hibbits doesn't get any, yeah, um, they don't get any releases, no, like, no number Jordan or anything. So, yeah, it's pretty hard, and we're like an hour and a half from the nearest. Like yeah, foot we, store that yeah, actually gets something to, worth we, going to. We filmed the 96 kicks. kicks over in Knoxville, and then we went to Nashville and hit a couple stores. He's been making mystery box series, trying to see who has the best $2,000 yeah. mystery box. Today, I'm trying to build him a mystery box with. I had to stay within Cookville, yeah. spend under a thousand bucks, and try to find something for him. So yeah, yeah, absolutely, so man. I went to Facebook Marketplace after I couldn't, yeah. <laughs> couldn't find anything locally and found you. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Like that's I said, awesome. we're really the only ones. We drive out, you know, every once in a while, but we're also up in school up here at Tennessee Tech. Yeah, okay. So usually we're just busy yeah, I just doing a, stuff. Uh, a seminar over there. Planning, really? Investment advisor, so I just did oh, a awesome. uh, workshop there. Sweet, that's cool. That's oh, cool stuff. We got these for three fifty. So I'm trying to get like six hundred ish, and trying to get yeah, them some yeah, value. Sure. The only thing is, it's kind of like inner scuffs. Yeah, I'm really just trying to find like the actual you know, consumer who's you know putting these on the toe. And this, this, but those are the UNC golfs that just released not too long ago. Is this going these? for anything? Or are they? Um, they're they're up there. I was asking like two forty ish. Yeah, retail's a little hot too. I never really hit retail, so I'm usually just kind of flipping for kind of you know like smaller, smaller deals. Um, yeah, just you know sometimes we'll hit like I hit retail for these, which they retail high like one fifty. But I would probably be like two hundred for those. I'd yeah. ask probably like two forty, but I paid resale on the patents. They're worn once, but I know market's probably at like three sixty lowest ask. 360. Um, so I mean I would probably be at like 330 on these. 330. Um, just because I paid resale on those as yeah. well. Cool grays. Like I said, I actually traded some pairs out the other day just to get rid of a couple pairs. And I traded four pairs for five of this guy's pairs. This is what I traded for. Those were in that deal as well. Utility yep. 12s. I would probably be at like 240. Um, yeah, and that's like that's like the best that I could do on those. I'll probably honestly probably gonna ask 260, but I would be at like 240 on these. So what do we got? 240. The wide use. How's the store going down in Texas? He's actually doing more stuff online now, so he hasn't. Really? Uh, yeah, he's not really doing that. So what's the best you think you could? Uh, I'll, I'll probably. Well, let's see. I mean, lowest like for brand new on Goat is 470. So there's a ton of used pairs that's kind of all over the place. I was honestly going to be at four on those. Four on these. Yeah. yeah. And that might be a little higher. I don't want to go over. I've got to stay under a grand, and I've already got about 300. Yeah. Um, so. so hold on. Let's see. The hoppers at 350. Which other ones were you maybe talking about? The pack? I was thinking these. Or the cool grace. Okay. Yeah. What could you do on those? 240 would not have to be a 240 on those. So that would be 590. Yeah. I think this will be like a really just the colorway and just the style of it. Yeah. I think these will have good value over time. I, I definitely see this maybe three, you know, something years, maybe being like a seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollar shoe. Yeah. But like I said, you know, that's, the best you that's do investment. On those? 330. 330. Yeah. Those are definitely those two. Pretty, yeah, I'll take those hot, two. Hot. You're going to do the cool grays and, and the yeah, I'll do those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did. Where'd you meet Cam at? Um, we met at the uh, Charlotte event, the sneaker exit. Oh yeah, Charlotte. yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, and he came over and bought some Alma Manure threes and maybe some Wad Oreos, maybe Pine Greens as well, like the OGs. There's six on there. Oh, uh, that's it. All right, you want to shout yourself on Instagram? Man, or? we are at Shuforia Ten. Do you ship across the country? We do. We do. We do. Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure, man. You have your phone on you? Yeah. I have an electronic business card. <laughs> we try to build up clients as best we can here, but it's just a tough crowd out here. It the is, demographic's yeah. a little different. Yeah, exactly. um, so, Cookville's a good place, though, because we're at least an hour and a half from Knoxville, Nashville, Chattanooga. Yeah. So, I mean, we're right in the middle, Murfreesboro as well, of all those major cities. So, hit up some like entrepreneurship dinners, mm -hmm. 
and this and that. We try to try to hit as many things as we can. A little over a little year. Over a year. A little over a thousand followers. So awesome. Yeah, Keep it up. Yeah, yeah, it's been a grind. It, we yeah, love yeah, it, man. Yeah, that's, so that's we'll, yeah. So maybe we'll end up seeing y'all at some more events here in the future. Definitely. That'd be awesome. Definitely. So yeah, right, appreciate, appreciate you guys. It. Yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. So just in summary, putting these in for Cam. So these were some of the heat. These uh, we paid three fifty for. They're like new, size. 12. We're gonna put these in the box. These were 350. We picked these up. Some cool gray threes. These were 240. Got these at Hibbets. These are some ring sixes. These were 180. A pair of Kyries. These were $65. Nine and a half. We've got some skate shoes. FA Experiment twos. From Adidas. Finally, <laughs> these are some Speed Four. Merry Christmas edition. 30 bucks, I actually got $5 off, so these were 25 bucks. So all in, box is $915. Now picture this, middle of nowhere, there's no sneaker store, the closest one is either Nashville, which is 90 miles away, Knoxville, which is 90 miles away, or Chattanooga, which is almost 100 miles away. So I'm in the middle of nowhere. I think I did pretty good considering, thank goodness for Facebook Marketplace and finding a sneaker reseller, but I think Cam will like the box. This box for Cam is actually pretty heavy. Box is about to break here. Cam, back with a Cookville mystery box from Pop's Case. What's up there, bro? Heck, what's up? All right, first thing you gotta do. Why does it say Emma's room? Does that have anything to do with it? It may or may not. First thing you gotta do is you gotta guess within $100 how much I spent. I had to spend at least 300. Yeah. Up to 1,000. Okay. So we know it's between 300 and 1,000. So is it 5,000? Had to, no. <laughs> had to stay within Cookville perimeter. I didn't leave the town. You didn't leave the perimeter? Didn't leave the perimeter. The perimeter was secured? It was secured. Went to about 15 stores. 15 stores? Something like that. Actually? <laughs> Something like that. I didn't buy something at every store though. Oh, okay. How many stores did you not buy stuff at? Several. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily I do have a handy dandy pair of scissors in my pocket. All right. So. Hey, told you never to run with scissors. I wasn't running, I was speed walking with them. Well, don't put them in your pocket. What if you trip? I'm not tripping. Puncture your lung. <laughs> Did you use my tape for this? I might have. Why did you use so much tape? <laughs> well, I had to use up the other $852. <laughs> you spent $852 on tape? Tell them about the sides. I the sides. So sides? Yeah. Sides? $26,000 yeah. worth of sides? <laughs> what are these sides? They cure cancer? The sides did cure cancer. That's the problem. No. Yeah. And before you open, you got to guess how no. much I spent. Was it $5,000? Between $300 and $1,000. $4,000. <laughs> Four hundred and thirty-eight dollars. No, you're too low. Two. You spend more than four hundred thirty-eight dollars <laughs> on what? <laughs> you gave me a thousand bucks. I know, but the, I thought you were gonna spend three hundred, which was the minimum. <laughs> what did he buy, guys? <laughs> do I get another guess, or do I just open it now? Now you just open it. How much did you spend? Did you tell me? <laughs> How's this <just> work? <laughs> Let's just say it's more than 900. <laughs> what? Hello. And less than a thousand. <laughs> Let's see if there's any value here, folks. Immediately, I see a bunch of pairs of shoes without the box. What? Hold on, I'm confused. No, because I see like a Jordan 1 box. Where did you go? First pair of shoes. Never seen these before. Is this even men's athletic shoe? I thought it was a pair of like Kyrie's or maybe LeBron's, <laughs> but is this just an off brand basketball shoe? <laughs> it's uh, kneeling. Huh? Merry Christmas, limited. <laughs> limited edition <laughs> shoes. Okay. <laughs> Does it have a size tag on it? What size <laughs> is this even? Size 13. Yeah, right there. <laughs> that's not a size tag, that's a size sticker. 13. Well, I was gonna look up the style code, but if it doesn't have a size tag. Next pair of shoes, some Adidas, I think? Yeah. Oh, these are brand new. Whatever store you got this from looks like Plato's Closet. Had it at $55. Okay. Okay. Lace bag still attached. No box though, so that definitely will affect the value. I have no idea what model this is. The brand's FA. It's a skate brand. It's a skate uh, shoe. Oh, it's a skate shoe? Yeah. Size nine and a half. Oh, are you gonna keep these, Shay? Yeah. Oh, it's 
So you just got these for Jack? I just bought them. Oh, whoa. FA stands for something explicit. Did you know that? Look at the insult. You FA know. awesome. Yeah. The and insult the says. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know what this is worth because the lowest ask is $142. Last sale is $25 and there's no bid. So I'm gonna find a different size. This is a nine and a half. I'm gonna see if there's any sizes that actually sold for an adequate amount. Size nine, there was a pair that sold for 98 bucks. So no box. I don't know. It might be too high, but I could say anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks. I mean, what would you say that they're probably worth? Yeah, I'd probably say 70. Yeah, I'll just meet it in the middle. 70 bucks. Okay. And those are called knee lings, and they what? Knee lings. These? They're, they're These? basketball. Yeah, those are. Are they on goat? I'm not sure if they're on goat. How do you know it's called that then? I looked them up. Knee ling. How do you spell that? N i l i n g. Christmas. Knee ling. Christmas. N I L I N G. It's not kneeling, it's lining. Oh. <laughs> L I N I N G. Oh. Oh, wait. These are Dwayne Wade shoes. They are? You confuse me. This is an actual brand. I think this is a way away Dwayne Wade shoe. I'm pretty sure this is a Dwayne Wade shoe. I I'm not too familiar with basketball shoes anymore, but they had it at 30 bucks, so I mean. Maybe it's worth 30. <laughs> Someone. I got it for 25. I got a $5 discount. So. All right, we'll say it's worth 30. So we're at $100 so far, two shoes in. Last shoe without a box, some Kyrie. So out of date with basketball shoes. I used to be in touch with Obsidian. them. I know, I'm thinking of what the model is. Condition's not terrible, but I mean, it's not the greatest condition. Someone definitely probably played basketball in these. So this is the Kyrie 3, that's right, okay. Nike Kyrie 3 Obsidian, brand new on GOAT. There's no brand new pairs. There's one used pair without a box for 95. Don't think it's probably worth that. I mean, there's a size 10 with the box for 100. Then there's one for 107. I don't know what it's worth. I'm probably gonna say somewhere around 50 bucks. I mean, they had it at $65 at Plato's Closet. Oof, yeah, it's pretty high. So I don't know, I'm gonna say 50 bucks, I mean. Nothing too crazy. That puts us at 150. And how much was spent? 915. $915? Well, good news, the rest of the shoes do have the box. The Jordan 1 box is promising. I'm gonna save that for last. There's a Jordan 3 box, which is a cool grade three, size 12. That's actually a pretty decent shoe. And okay, it's a worn pair. Where did you get these from? Somebody's trunk. <laughs> What? <laughs> we did a sneaker meetup. Did you sneaker actually? Sneaker meetup. Did you yes, actually? I went to Facebook Marketplace. How did you find someone? I just went on there and tried to find a pair, and this guy actually is a reseller, and he oh. actually met you. What? At Sneaker Exit in Charlotte. <laughs> did you record? He had that? a picture with you. Did yes, you record? I did. <laughs> what? What are the odds of that? <laughs> what did you pay? Two forty. You paid two forty? <laughs> actually? Seriously. Uh, oh, too way too high. Uh, Did you not look them up? Do you know there's this thing called StockX? Oh, is that what you do? Yeah. I was wondering about that. Oh gosh, okay. Well, size 12, brand new is 280. Highest bid's 225. Last sale is 280. I mean, maybe 220. I mean, it's Ooh. clean, but I mean, I have a used pair right now. I have a size 13 that's used. I think I'm selling it for 220 as well. So, I don't know, I'm gonna say it's worth 220, I guess, so. All right, oof. $370, okay. Uh, some Jordan stick rings. From Hibbit Sports, woo! Okay, so this is like an off-brand, I mean, it's not off-brand, but it's not a Jordan Retro. It's a combination of the Jordan 6 and the Jordan 13 bottom, and it looks like the Jordan 11 upper, so I don't know how many shoes it is, but, because this is the Jordan 8 strap. Jordan 8 strap, Jordan 6 heel tab, Jordan 11 body, and then Jordan 13 bottom it looks like. So, I mean, they are brand new. A shoe like this, you can definitely at least sell on StockX. There are some people that like these for whatever reason, but it's a size 11. I'm gonna look it up on StockX. This is something I would only buy if I got it for like under StockX payout, because I would just immediately sell it on StockX, because I don't know, most people don't like this shoe. I mean, there are some people out there that like this one. I just, I'm not a fan of them. Sorry to offend some people if you do like this shoe, but I just, I stick with the Jordan Retros personally. I'm, I'm not really a fan of the other ones. Jordan 6 rings, black ice, it's a size 11. Lowest ask is 250, what the heck? This actually goes for something? They have a ton of them there too. Last sale is 230. Maybe because it's an all black colorway. The highest bid's 185. What did you pay? 
185. That's retail. Last sale was 235. The lowest ask on the 10 is only 167. There's a 10 and a half or 240. So the market's pretty inconsistent. I mean, a, there's a 10 and a half that sold for 200. There's 11 and a half that sold for 175. So I'll just say like 200. I mean, maybe to the right buyer, someone would probably pay 200 for these. So, all right, we're at $570. So uh, it all comes down to this. Last shoe, it is a size 12 Hyper Royal. Is this, wait, is this my pair? <laughs> Oh, no. Wait, you got you got another one size yep, 12? Sneaker meetup. Was it with a different person? No, nope, same, same guy. Oh gosh, did he charge you 500? Nope, 350. 350. Okay, I mean that's what I'm selling my other pair for. So yeah, I'm in pretty good condition. The Nike Air is still in the insole, not terrible. So all right, so 350. The total value of this box is 920 dollars. Whoa, we paid 915. <laughs> we made five bucks. Cool, so I mean, very interesting box. No sneaker store within yeah. 90 miles is probably the closest store. But Hibbit Sports, you probably could have got a coupon. Sneaker so, meetups, you could have negotiated. Did I did, negotiate? the guy would not negotiate. I, I talked him down from 375 to 350 and he wouldn't budge on What about either. the cool grade? Yeah, he wouldn't budge on that either. You know those videos on TikTok? Let's see who we were finessing today. Yeah. We were I got finessed, Pops got finessed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty it's sure. It's tough, man, trying to negotiate with resellers, and uh, that's why you move on and find another reseller. I, I, I probably or you find someone. This would have taken, taken weeks. You bought you bought from him before, though. You bought pine green. You bought a huh. bunch of stuff from him. Yeah, really. So he finessed you last time, and now he got me. No, I probably finessed him, and then he finessed you back. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, share. If they're not already subscribed. What should they do? They should definitely subscribe. Definitely subscribe, and what should they turn on? Post notifications. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Cam's Kicks Official. And lastly, what site should they check out? What is that one? It's Cam's Kicks.com. Cam's Kicks.com. Make sure to check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a, an interesting day.